open your mouth to talk you are not going to find love hmm. oh let's go and read you just want to have a good time here it's not something that i want to tolerate does that make any sense girl girl you make me go so loco loco make me go crazy we would make a beautiful baby hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Zalem here and this is my youtube channel i'm going to be sharing some tips and should i say tricks but the essentially tips that i have for you guys that have worked for me and i think will work for you on how to survive really so i'm just going to be sharing these tips with some experiences that i've had and you know what you should take away from them some lessons you should learn to live a peaceful life the most important thing that I'm going to tell anybody, if you were my sister and I was your big sister, I'm probably going to tell you to take contentment and hold it for dear life. If you think, you know, your parents are buoyant, you're rich, you know, you have everything that you could possibly think you need to have, which is great, which is fine. Wait till you get to the university. You're going to meet people from different walks of life. You will see levels of wealth that you never imagined to have existed trust me you are going to see so many things which is why it is important to be content with what you have this is not to say that oh you shouldn't aspire to have better things or to live a better life no contentment is essentially this is where i am for now and i'm okay with it because i know that this is a phase i'm definitely going to pass it when you go there you are going to see so many things. You are going to see so many people, commissioners, kids, governors, kids, most especially if you're even in a private university. You are going to see a lot. And when there's a lack of contentment, it's going to push you to do so many things, which is why you see some girls go to extremities to meet up with people who are not even competing with them. They just feel like there's this thing that they need to match up to. And for those people who have those things, they have it on the platter of wood. Their parents probably got it for them and they, do it. they didn't even bat an eyelid while buying it. In no time, you're going to lose yourself and it will take the grace of God for you to find a footing that will take you in the right direction. You don't have to be using the latest iPhone. You don't have to be using the latest uh, iPad or have the latest wig, the latest bags. All those things are nice to own. They are nice to have, but it is not important. You know, like I don't appreciate all these things, but I've not seen any material item that I love so much and it will push me to act out of character just to get that thing. So my next tip, a very important tip, which is leave love alone. Yes, I said it. Especially for my girlies that are just getting into a one, just got admission, something like that. Yes, I know we used to watch all these American sitcoms that will romanticize college or university as one place to go there and find the love of your life find your husband whatever on a scale of one to ten only works for two out of ten you can't find love there i'm sorry but you're only going to live there with trust issues ptsd let me tell you any 400 level boy that is moving to you and telling you oh i really like you i really want to be with you he's just lying to you i have friends when they were still in school i was in 200 level at the time so they were 400 but we were friends they used to always like look at the one girls and say oh my god this one now uh, fresh meat easy to manipulate other girls in the other classes are wiser now their eye has opened so they are not as easy to fool or as easy to manipulate. I can tell you for free, especially in year one, you are not going to find love. Please, girls, leave love alone. Focus more on your academics, especially. If you don't make good grades in your first year, it will be very difficult for you to upgrade your CGPA whilst you go on. So let's love be. <laughs> Honestly, I know like this is fun. It's exhilarating to have a crush, to be going on dates. But what I'll tell myself now that I know is leave love alone. You're not going to gain much from that relationship. I got into university when I was 16. I don't see what I was using love to do then, or relationship, or boys. Try your best to leave it alone. 
or try your best to not carry it on your head mm -hmm. i think they made that a better terminology for what i'm trying to explain third point which is try to make friends i know that everybody talks about friends especially females female friendships are these female friendships are that but i'm i'm here to tell you and i'm giving testimony to the fact that female friendships are very beautiful especially when they are done right now one thing that i want you to take from this tip that i'm telling you is when you get into the university fresh try your best your possible best to make friends with people who have similar priorities as you do similar goals similar principles morals similar upbringings i'm not saying all this to say oh you cannot mix with other people however i'm saying this because if you're friends with people who, who share a similar goal with you it should be much more easier for example now maybe i came into the university with the oh i want to have a good time i'm not really big on the academics i just want to have a good time here i'm not going to go and be friends with now people who are very like serious who came here for serious business <laughs> they came here for serious business came to cut through to its academics it's just going to be a conflict of interest because they are going to be advising me oh let's go and read me i'm going to tell them oh let's go and do this so it's not we're not going to be seen eye to eye which is going to scatter that friendship from the get-go that was one thing that especially helped me when i was in year one because i remember feeling very overwhelmed sometimes and sometimes i would almost act out of character but i had this friend who you know went to the same secondary school together or whatever so our upbringings were similar anytime i would like maybe i talk to her about something she'd be like mm -hmm. she always you know was the voice of reason yeah she was always like the voice of reason that made me see oh my god i'm straying a bit she was keeping me in check i was keeping her in check if you understand what i mean now i'm not saying this that it means you know don't mix with people who are different from you please i'm not saying that all i'm saying is it is easier to navigate friendships especially female friendships with people who are who have not similar personalities similar principles morals goals priorities you know so yeah that's what i'm saying next point is boundaries hmm. very important you know how a fence works you have a house but you have bricks surrounding the house to protect the house from you know intruders strangers invaders things like that this is essentially what boundaries does for you as a person if you've told somebody that oh i don't do this this is not something that i'm interested in exploring or i'm interested in doing they will already have it at the back of their mind not to bring some type of discussions some type of behaviors some types of attitudes some things in general i knew somebody in my room in year one the girl was very uptight she had set boundaries from the beginning she didn't like anybody using her buckets she didn't like anybody using her bed or anything like that now this girl was a nice girl no doubt but those boundaries help to keep because human beings human beings they behave anyhow we give them chance they take chances in that room that i was in if all the buckets have finished and her bucket is empty and somebody is in dire need of a bucket nobody's going to touch it because she has clearly said don't i don't want this crossing the line for me it's not something that i want to tolerate so don't do it please open your mouth to talk nobody's going to beat you <laughs> i could have saved myself a lot of situations if i had figured this out earlier nobody's going to beat you i said i don't want to do it so no what's going to happen don't touch my bag don't touch my this oh don't touch my milk i don't like it simple and short that doesn't make you a wicked person or doesn't make you weird or doesn't know why this girl being like the people that complain about other people especially when they are now starting to enforce their boundaries on them are people who want to use you because i don't understand why i'm telling that i'm not comfortable with this thing or this other thing and you feel like what do you mean da, 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 da. if you respect me you respect what i said that i'm not comfortable with does that make any sense i don't know 
<laughs> I honestly don't know if anything I'm even saying here makes any sense, but yeah. Okay, a very, 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 very important tip is have a goal, not a plan. What does this mean? My goal is to make first class. I cannot now go there and say, when I wake up by 5.30, by 7 o'clock I'm in class, 12 o'clock I'm going for lunch, before 4 o'clock I started going back to my hostel, from 4 to 7 p.m. in the evening I'm reading, 8 p.m. I'm having my bath, 9 p.m. I'm off to bed, tomorrow we rinse and repeat the cycle. Not a bad plan, good. But how long can that plan work? How consistent can you stay? with that plan how realistic is that plan because that's a very important thing to take into consideration because unforeseen circumstances are a lot some things can happen some situations can come up and you can't go on with the plan i would advise that you have a goal regardless of where you find yourself you can always reroute in the path of that goal in the path of that aim this is a disclaimer which i should have done at the beginning of the video but i'm doing it now anyways so these tips you don't have to take them i'm not imposing them on you you don't have to accept it i'm still growing i'm still learning i can come back and watch this video and there's some things that i might disagree with so which is why i have to pick and choose if you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe like comment even if you don't have anything to say just comment in an emoji okay because it tells the algorithm that the video is nice and it pushes it to other people see you guys in my next one bye